Because I know that when I'm off that stuff and I'm focused on my dreams and I'm focused on my vision and I'm moving forward, I'm actually the best person I could possibly be. And I have the very best chance at finding success. Because all it does is hinder your ability to compete at the highest level. I'm in a methamphetamine house, you know, that ain't how it all started. And I can sit down with a lot of those guys I did time with. I spent six and a half years of my life locked up in jail and prison. So uh, I'm an expert at making really poor choices over the years. I'm an expert. Um, but also, you know, after 14 years of making calculated positive decisions in my life, I've become an expert at what it looks like making good choices. You can go back to the prison and talk to some of those inmates that I sat there and did time with, and we'd all come to the same conclusion. It all started way back when. It all started way back when, when we started down that road. It's one of the common things that we had. It all started way back in the day when we lost our focus and we lost our vision for where we wanted our life to be and we started experimenting with drugs and alcohol. Take the good look on the left. The despair. The loneliness. The insecurities. That's what it looked like for me. I abandoned my kids for years, man. Drugs became a priority. And you might not think this can happen to you, but I'm gonna tell you something. Drugs do not discriminate. They don't care what color you are. They don't care how old you are. They don't care how much money you have. It does not discriminate. And I can almost guarantee that all of us, at some point in our life, our friend, our neighbor, our family member, somebody has been affected by drugs and alcohol in a negative way. You're gonna take some losses in life. You're going to take losses. You're going to take losses on the ball field. You're going to take losses on the court, on the mat. You're going to take losses. It's how you overcome those challenges. How do you overcome those losses? How do you get up and dust yourself off and keep moving forward? That's going to determine your character. That determines who you are. It's not what I've done. It's what I'm going to do moving forward. That determines who I am. Guys, listen up. This is your window of opportunity right here, right now. You gotta understand this. This moment will never be here again. It'll never be here again. It'll never look the same. And you don't wanna be one of those athletes like myself who looked back on their life and said, you know, if I'd have stayed a little more focused, if I'd have pushed a little harder, if I'd have just stayed engaged and really fought to be that, that state champion, maybe I'd have found a little more success. I'm gonna tell you something, guys. I was a 500 wrestler in high school, okay? I never saw the state championships until my senior year. You're probably Every one of you guys should want to be a state champion. Every one of you. Especially after hearing my story. I never wanted to match at the state championships in high school. Not one. And I went on to get a whole bunch of hardware, guys. So, you know, so if you're taking losses right now, just stay in the fight and keep staying motivated because your win will come. You gotta have it written down at home, man. I wasn't kidding when I said I for the last 10 years, every single year you'd come to my house and on my wall would say state uh, national champion this year. Every single year. You have to write it down to make it real in your life. You have to be reminded of where you're trying to go every day. And you gotta have a timeline. When do you wanna be a state champion? What, 10 years from now or this year? Next year, three years from now, I don't care when, but you have to have a timeline. You gotta have a timeline so that you can gauge your progress. How am I gonna know where I'm at in, in, in reaching my goal if I can't gauge the progress? Have a goal, have it written down, so every morning you can wake up and go, today I'm gonna get better. Today I'm gonna focus on being a champion. Today I'm gonna get closer to that state championship. And then at the end of the day, you can evaluate what you did in this room. And you can go home and touch it again before you go to bed. So that you can stay reminded of it. With a goal written down and a timeline, a timeline that gives you purpose. And you need purpose to be in this room every single day. You need purpose. You need to come here with a goal in mind and a deadline and a timeline so that you can come here with purpose. And you've got to encourage each other to reach the next level. I want my teammate to get a state championship. I want to get a state championship. I want each and every one of you to. And I'm going to work hard so that we all have an opportunity to do that. You should be encouraging, inspiring, and boosting each other's up to win a state championship. Every one of us, even the kid that might not be winning right now, push him to get a state championship. That's the important piece. And that's what helps bring you guys together, is pushing each other's hard. And understanding and caring about success of the next guy. You cannot be selfish in this sport. You will not find the highest level of success if you're that selfish. You will find a higher level of success working together, guys. I promise you that. I promise you that. I couldn't do all that by myself. I might tell my story, but there's a whole bunch of team members around me that encourage and push me to get where I'm at.
It takes a lot of support and a lot of people around us to be able to get there. And this is a thick, tough team right here. You've got great coaching staff, some of the best, and they want the best for you. And they want to see you find the highest level of success. That's all they want. And so you got to listen, you got to pay attention, and you got to follow them guidelines because this is your one window of opportunity, guys. Don't be like a bunch of us looking back on our life going, man, I could have been at the top of the podium. I could have been there. You want to be the one that's there. And I don't care if you're at the bottom of the podium, at least you can look at coach and say, that was everything I had, coach. That was everything I had. And then you'll be able to sleep at night for the rest of your life instead of having it knock at your door for the rest of your life.